This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on here? This is an Android tablet and it's running Photoshop. I'm doing this using a little app known as Super Display. And today we're gonna to be checking it out. Hello, my name is Brad and I review tech for creative professionals. And this has been a very widely requested video. Every time I do an Android video, y'all are like, you need to test out Super Display. Okay, okay, I will. So what, what exactly is Super Display? Well, it's an app that you can download from the Google Play Store that mirrors your Windows laptop screen on your Android tablet. So here you see me using the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Nice, big 15 inch Android tablet and it looks really good when I mirror the display. And it's not just mirroring, you can also extend your display and use this like a second monitor or a portable monitor. Pretty cool, right? Well, it gets better. If your Android tablet has a pen, like mine does here, I have all of the functionality that comes with that stylus now available on my Windows computer, which for all intents and purposes turns this into a pen display like a Wacom Cintiq. Except way more portable and with way more functionality and somehow cheaper. So there is a free demo of Super Display. So if you want to try it out for three days, you can risk free. After that, it's $10. I'm using the full version here. Now, a few weeks back, I did talk about Samsung's newish second screen feature, which works almost the exact same way as Super Display. And it was okay. It, it impressed me early on, but the more I drew with it, the more lag I got and the more things started to fall apart and the less I liked it, the less like a Cintiq it felt. So if that exists for free on my Samsung tablet, why? Would I pay for this? Lag, or less of it. Super Display works over Wi-Fi, but it also works by connecting a physical USB cable to your computer. Because of that physical connection, it doesn't start to lag and break down over time. It's less dependent on your network. It just works better. It really makes this feel way more native. Is it perfect? You are gonna see some lag. The lines aren't quite as crisp as natively drawing on Android, but overall, I was impressed. If you're thinking about using this to replace a Cintiq or a Huion or something like that, I'm not sure I would go there, but if you wanted the added functionality to your Android tablet, I think it's pretty solid. So the best way to show this is to actually demo it. But before we do, I do wanna shout out to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Have you ever wanted to sell something online? Well, Squarespace is here to save the day. It's not only an all-in-one platform for building the ultimate website, it is your gateway to selling your products, the content you create, or even your time. Squarespace lets you make your your very own online store so you can sell your products to the world. Whether you're selling physical or digital products, Squarespace has all the tools you need to get started now. Squarespace's best in class website templates are super easy to set up and customize to your heart's content. You can browse by your category of business and find the perfect starting place. Squarespace also makes it easy to keep in touch with your audience using their email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers, starting with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like your site color, your logo. There's also built-in analytics that let you measure the impact of every cent. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Brad Colbo to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so this is the demo version of Super Display. As you can see, Adobe Photoshop is open. It is running on my Android tablet. I am connected via a USB cable to my laptop over here, and that's what's making this all possible. You can also do this via Wi-Fi, but personally, I think the benefit of this program is being able to use that cable because I get so much less lag uh, and so much better performance when I'm using the cable than I do when I'm on Wi-Fi. So how good is it? Well, let me let me flip open a window here and I could show you some places where these types of programs fall apart. Oftentimes is when you're moving stuff around, you're gonna see fragments, you're gonna see breaking, you're gonna see weird things happening. But as you can see here, it's really good. The other thing that uh, is worth testing is video quality. There's a video on the computer screen. There is a video here. Uh, and when I click play, it's pretty darn clear. This is a really, really good second monitor. I'm not getting weird artifacting or anything like that. Let me pause that. So just in terms of that kind of quality, um, I'm I'm pretty happy with that so far. But what about drawing? Uh, that's, that's our next step. We're gonna be checking out what it's like when you take the pen and you come in here and you start drawing lines. Now, as you can see, I'm already getting pressure sensitivity. Um, the lines aren't super smooth, even though I was working at a pretty good speed. 
We're going to talk about that in a minute. I do want to jump in and talk about the settings first. Now the settings, this is one of the weird quirky things here. You can't access the settings if this is on. So I'm going to unplug my USB cable for a second. And now what you see up here in the corner is a little settings icon. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Then our settings, we have a lot of different things. The first one is the orientation. If you're using this on a phone instead of a tablet, you might want to change up the orientation. Being a tablet, I love that it's landscape. It, it mirrors perfectly my laptop screen. We also have our input. I'm using the S Pen because this tablet has an S Pen, but you can use touch. This is the cool part. There is an on-screen menu that I haven't really shown you yet. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Customize. And if you've ever used a Windows 2-in-1 laptop, the very first thing you're gonna notice when you're using Photoshop or many of these applications that aren't really built for touch is how do you undo? You have to go to tap on a little menu icon and then go down to undo and hope you don't hit the wrong thing. It's a pain in the butt. It is the biggest problem with these Windows 2-in-1s. Being able to have something on screen that you could easily tap on is really nice. And you can add more as you go. So I'm going to tap on this little add button down in the lower corner. And now I can come in here and uh, how do I, there we go. If I just tap on it, I can set the action. So I have my like control alt shift keys. If you tap on this, there's a bunch of stuff that you can choose. Or if I just want like the letter B, which is going to turn on my brushes, I'll click OK. It's gonna turn on my brush. If you hit the little icon, you can come here and find an icon. There's a ton of icons in here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'll just do a plug for now. I don't know if I'll know what that means or not. I made one earlier for the space bar. It doesn't really work, so I'm gonna just swipe to the right and delete it. I thought it'd be cool to kind of scrub around the canvas that way. It, it, it didn't quite work the way I expected it to, but you know, whatever. So with that done, uh, let's go back and let's plug this thing back in. Let me show you how fast this works. I just plug it back in and within a second it says, do you want to use super display? I tap on okay. It's almost instantaneous. And I can go in here, we can use that undo key. I tap on it again to clear my canvas. Pretty cool. What are these other shortcuts here up in the upper left hand corner? Well, first of all, you can bring those up by tapping and holding on this little icon here. I'll tap and hold and bring them back up. You can tap on that icon to bring up different options. Uh, this disables the touch so I can't pinch and zoom. Uh, but if I turn that off, I go back to kind of cropping mode. Each one of these I have set, you can set them at different screen sizes. Let me show you how it works. This one I set to zoom in. This is something that happens a lot when you're using Photoshop, especially is it's very hard to come in here and change brush sizes because this little point here that I'm playing with, it's so tiny on the screen that actually hitting that with your pen nib is really, really hard. Now I can just zoom into that interface. I can get that. I can easily tap on these. I can go to smoothing and adjust it there. So having that's really nice. Uh, the other thing is, is this one just zooms me out to my full screen. And the other third thing is I can zoom in. Uh, I set this myself to just zoom into the canvas. So now I can just draw without all that cruft around. What happens with a lot of Android tablets, not really a problem with this one because this is the Galaxy S8 Ultra, huge screen. But if you're dealing with a 10 inch screen, you know, you lose a lot of real estate because all your Photoshop interface stuff is taking up space. And of course, if I want to adjust it, I can just pinch and zoom and I can go in as far as as little as I want. And it's going to remember where I left off. So when I go here and then I go back to that setting, it's going to remember where I am. Kind of nice. So with that out of the way, let's, let's talk a little bit about the actual drawing. Now, the first thing is I'm not seeing a ton of lag. Is there lag? Yes. Yes, there is. Is there a ton of it? No, not really. And I think that goes back to the fact that this is plugged in via the USB cable. Now, when I do fast lines, that's when I tend to see it. Um, I am getting some weird pressure things. Like for example, even though I'm just doing fast strokes, you can see that it's not sure what to do with the pressure. So the faster you move, the more you're likely to confuse it in terms of it trying to figure out, hey, what's the pen pressure thing going on now? But I'm not seeing like weird stuff happening at the end of lines. I'm not seeing like really strange things going on. Let me zoom out. And I'm also getting a little bit when I do these slow angled lines, I'm getting a little bit of wobble to them. Um, I'm also getting some weird hooks at the end. But the nice thing about this is just a little bit of smoothing, like say 10%, and I can mostly cut that out. Um, it could be hard when I'm drawing to show like 
hey, what's my hand? And what is actually like wobbling here? But just a tiny bit of smoothing does really, really help this. So that is Super Display. I'm really impressed with this. I think this is this is really solid. The one catch here is this app hasn't been updated in almost two years. It's going to be two years this summer. Um, that worries me a little bit. Is there going to be an Android update that kind of messes this up? Is it in, you know, uh, there haven't been any bugs. So if there are bugs that I didn't come across that you experience, you know, you might not get fixes for those. Since it is $10, there is a three day trial. So if you wanna try it out and see where it goes for you, I would definitely recommend doing the trial before actually investing any money in it. Make sure that it works on your device the way you expect it to. But what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.